Hey guys, here with another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. I'm D Mike. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying Donkey Kong Country. I'm joined again by my friend Odin Speck, and we are going to continue through the ending worlds of Donkey Kong Country. So let's get started. Yeah, let's get let's get into it. How's how's it going, D Mike? How's uh how's it been since the last uh, twenty minutes? It's been it's been a trip. Uh, you know, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. And the best things in life are free, and our friendship is free. I don't actually. That sounds kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, though? Uh, is it better? Kind of... Is it better than paying for friendship? You know. Well, I mean, we don't pay for our friendship. That's true. I'm just saying, like, unless what... you're talking about like paid and like time spent together. I would like to think that our... you spend time, right? This yeah, quality kind of... time is social currency. So, yeah, we'll think of it like that. But I mean, there's plenty of people that are in like social groups and clubs that you got to pay to be in. And some people call that paying for friendship. So, okay, well, I'm going to not take on guard there. It probably should have went back from honestly. That situation was getting a little fishy. Yeah, I guess there is there is stuff where, yeah, there's like like golf clubs or whatever, right? Like you got to pay to sure. be a member and... I'm I'm not in any of that because I, I make let's play videos, but uh, you could uh, bring your golf clubs to the golf club. <laughs> I mean, I have been to like the driving range. I, I do enjoy sure, you know, golfing. It's fun to. I'm not part of any clubs. It's fun to smack the old ball around. Why not? Take that, however you would. <laughs> this level sucks. It does suck. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you're doing it for now. Oof. It's not enjoyable, I gotta say. The background water makes me think of Mountain Dew. If your Mountain Dew yeah, looks like that. Yeah, that's what the poison pond part is, right? It's actually Mountain Dew, yes. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That was great. I don't know how that happened. That was incredible. That's, uh... That's, that was intentional. This is why uh, Odin is actually up for, uh for bid currently on uh, Major League Gaming Hall of Fame. Moves like that are what's going to get a... <laughs> yeah. It's next level stuff. MLG Pro. I remember a long time ago, there was some sort of... Um, like, everything that we talk about is like, I instantly, like, give away how old I am. Um, but there was a, a, a mini-series on MTV back when they you know, weren't just reality shows, but it was like a documentary show about various topics around the world for, it, it could be anything really. It was a really fascinating show. I forget what it was called, but I remember for a while they had a, a mini documentary about um, Major League Gaming and like how, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh boy. It's supposed to go up, but I have no idea how I was supposed to know that was coming. Is it hopefully? Okay. Whew. So yeah, it was, um, Major League Gaming and like on the onset of when that was starting to become a thing like it wasn't oh, that's great It wasn't actually called that at the time, but it was like people who competed online quote-unquote professionally I mean they were they were winning money playing video games. So technically it is you know, a, it is a professional gig and They were talking about like uh, Unreal Tournament was kind of the big thing at the time and you see these people lugging around these m absolutely massive like PCs that are uh, like gaming PCs back in the day with their like CRT monitors, like they're in hotel rooms and stuff, like having to use like one of those huge hotel carts to get all their gaming rig stuff up to uh, to practice and whatnot. I thought that that was pretty pretty interesting back in the day. I mean, that's still obviously a thing. Like esports is much bigger, but back then it was probably pretty rare. Yeah, now they would just supply that. For, like they would have setups already like pre-established and yeah, the the e athletes or what, however. I mean, the, I wasn't there like a tournament that they had at one point where like the whole shtick of it was that um, they were having people, I don't know why they thought that this was a good idea, but like for the for the visual aesthetic, like it was kind of like a, like a, a shock factor. Like they had these people competing and they were like on top of like a crane, which I thought was ridiculous. Like they're playing video games, esports competing, and they're on like top of this massive like 30 foot crane, like way up in the air. I don't know why anybody would agree to do that. But hey, if you love heights and video games, then that's for you. I gotta be honest, I, I don't remember this. This level or what I just said? What you just said. Oh, that's fair. I could have just been dreaming that. I mean, it sounds pretty extra. <laughs> yeah. So go look that up if you haven't seen it. Like, I think it's... Oh, I, I have to. Now. I don't even know how that's possible. Like, I, D 
the idea of that seems really tough to, to pull off because like they're so far up in the air like do you have like the cables that would be able to reach that far and like it's very strange all right everybody it's, yeah here we go minecart here's two. the aforementioned secondary minecart level we're watching the last episode we you would have heard us talking about it that's right you gotta here we are one right after the other or else you're not a real fan get out of my uh get out of my subs just kidding i love all you guys all uh <laughs> at the time 30 something of you so thanks thanks for watching everybody always appreciate a uh, a good fellowship of following i like to talk to people like my channel is like a big deal like yeah hey come check out my twitter with like four posts on it <laughs> hey it is a big deal you know yeah Someday, we'll get there. Everybody's gotta start small. Unless you inherited a lot of things in life and then I guess you don't have to. <laughs> well, that's, does that, does that apply for, you know, you know what, it probably does apply for uh, YouTube nowadays. Yeah, I would say that there's- Back in the day, no. There's a non-zero amount of people that are successful possibly because of that. Yeah. Odin is being a straight G right now. I, I don't know how any of this is happening, to be honest. You're doing great. <laughs> Oh, that was I good. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. We went to do that. If it makes you feel better, I'm clenched for you. <laughs> my anxiety. I mean, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm oh. already there. Ah, well, my anxiety sorry, was yeah. uh, was so high. See, I tried to go for that bunch of bananas. See, mm. The bunch of bananas means it's like, oh, that's a tough one to get. That's right. Single bananas oh, is okay. like that's what that's what they intend you to do. But the bunch of bananas is like, no, that's like an optional. The bunch of bananas are for the type of people that like to play video games suspended thirty feet in the air on cranes. Exactly. Exactly. We're not see, quite there see, yet. Yeah, those were just individual ones. They want you to jump mm. there. See, it's like a it's like a metaphor. The individual bananas are for the uh, more cash gamers like Odin and I, whereas the banana bunch that's your MLG pros. Exactly. There's room for both in the world. I understand it. I just feel old, like when I think, like, yeah, I was around when like that stuff started. Mm -hmm. It's like, why was I not doing that? I could be a, I could be a professional StarCraft player. For sure. Why not having a thing anymore? Oh, we're doing great. <laughs> I think we burnt like five lives already. <laughs> yeah, that this exact part. It's going fantastic. This is. Uh... I'm trying to get this bonus area up here because uh, probably skip some. Yeah. Awful stuff here. There it is. Maybe it'll pop us out at the end of the level. Who knows? You know, we might need one of these. Yeah, it's been a while since we <laughs> since we dipped into it. Do we, have we we haven't shown on guard yet? I don't think. I don't think so. Oh well, there we go. Well, Look at that. Speak of the uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> we need some extra lives. We here. do. <laughs> We're struggling a little bit, but honestly, it's the struggles that uh, that show us how human we are. That's what this that's what this let's play is all about. The struggle of the uh, of the humankind playing video games over the internet. This is one of the easier ones. Looks pretty enjoyable. On guard's having a good time. I think there's other secret areas. I mean, there's obviously like with this. Large I mean, you already showed me too. I think, I think there's other secret areas here too. I'm not sure where. And it's it, it's funny game. as I watch this because there's so many moments that already having watched you play this that like you know I I played this game dozens of times that I, I had no clue any of this existed so like my mind is being blown on a regular basis but I'm trying to like keep my chill for the for the <laughs> for the episode oh there you go oh no, that's all that's all we're getting seven will do it that's pretty good you say yeah, that's all we're, you say we we're that's all we're getting like that wasn't really awesome. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, we're not gonna get eight. Like, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna try and stretch it out. That's uh, that's speedruns, speedruns.com quality is you get eight. Actually, they probably wouldn't even do these in a speedrun. No, they would. They definitely do not do these in the speedrun unless there's like a category that's like all animal buddy bonus level percent. Is that a thing? Maybe. I feel I like it. Be surprised. If it's not, it should be. This is a pretty popular game that I could see something like that existing. Yeah, I mean, I was looking up stuff the other- Ooh. I don't know how you clipped through that, but that was amazing. Yeah, well, okay. The, uh... That's that, uh, Hall of Fame MLG Pro, uh... Clip bonus Banana they give bunch. you. Yeah. When you, uh, 
when you get to that level of gaming, they, uh, they give you a free pass. It's really nice. Yeah, I remember I was looking at something recently on the Speedruns website just because I was curious. Uh, I check out that stuff every so often. Uh, also, you want to do a, a shout out to, to your group that you do, the... Um, your contributions. Oh, the stacked, the stacked Game Marathon. Yeah. Is that what you're referring For to? For sure, yeah. Okay. Stacked Game Marathon. Yeah. I, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, there's... Hopefully, um, I haven't really announced anything, but maybe by the time this video is out, it will be announced, so maybe I can just talk about it now and then. Sure. That'll that'll incentivize me to to get it out there by the time this video goes up. Um, planning on doing another one in October, actually. That is... So. Excellent news. Hopefully I can join in on the festivities. The uh, Stack Gaming Marathon is kind of like a speed run group that Odin's a part of that he takes care of the tech side of things that raises money for various charities and uh, has a lot of really cool, awesome speed run content. So check that out. If you guys are seeing this video and you haven't done so, uh, I'll put a link in the description whenever this video happens um, and you guys can follow along. Appreciate that, man. So, yeah, it's also not just speedrun stuff too. Like, it's, it's, we got some casual sure. content on there too. Got me falling in the pits there. Got some creative stuff, so it's, it's a good time. Sure. Yeah, it's a nice. Uh, it's kind of a nice. It's like a trail mix of content. You know, sometimes you'll you'll wind up with all kinds of stuff. It's really. Uh, oh, that was great. Um, yeah, it's really fun to check out. Uh, they do a great job. A lot of good charity work. <laughs> um, they do a lot better work than we do on this game right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're, we'll say that at least. Yeah. It definitely was a lot more successful than uh, than how this is going right now. The level of quality of the content of the Stacked Gaming Marathon is it supersedes this by a lot. So you know you get you get uh you, you'll get a lot out of it. So if you haven't checked it out, for sure do that, everybody. And uh, yeah, throw a few bucks their way if you can. Thanks, dude. Oh no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I do appreciate that we haven't talked about this level at all since, uh, since starting it. But, yeah. Uh, I think it speaks for itself. Uh, it sucks. So it's, it's pretty brutal. Um, I mean, the Not last, one of my favorites, the last episode for those of you who have been following along, uh, we spent, you know, more than half of it talking about. Uh, a game not related to this at all. We went on quite a little nostalgic trip through memory lane of Pokemons. So that's what happens. We get to hear the song again, at least. True. Very good song. That's what happens when you're keeping things so cash. The conversation just goes all kinds of ways. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not really helpful right now because, again, my audio is just, like, not lined up. So <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the clap traps. It's too late. <laughs> just far too late. It just makes me think about how... Um, you know, one of the things that I used to do would I would be a freelance video editor and there would be times when I would be given content and I I would have no way to really sync the audio with like if there would be interviews because whoever did the interviews um, didn't have any sort of a sync point. So, so I would wind up having to try to edit these pieces where I'm trying to find like where the person's mouth starts moving to figure out what they're trying to say and trying to like nudge audio left and right just to get it perfectly because I mean like the only thing that's worse than like desynced audio was like bad audio not fun Oof. so this, um, this is a treat this is a uh, our first new boss in a while yeah <laughs> it's just an enemy gauntlet which was funny because like for a while i didn't know how to beat this and i say that because like you're like oh like how could you not beat this it's just it's literally just trying to take out a couple of uh different enemies at a time I, I would get to the point where I'd play this and I would lose DK and I thought for the longest time that DK is the only one that can take out the heavy enemies. I know that Diddy can now with a jump roll. Oh, shoot. I say that now. Um, yeah, I, I tried to stay Like in. here? Yeah, these guys got a cartwheel. And I didn't game. know that. So I thought that the game was like unbeatable for a while. I was like, why would they why would they cause the game to be like un, unable to be finished? Like who thought that this was a good idea? Oh, <laughs> these guys are actually the hardest to deal with with Diddy. Oh my goodness! DK can just jump on them. That's what. That's why I was trying to stay in for that. For, no, normally I would have tagged you in, but th this is just a much easier. It certainly is. Uh, yeah, those armadillos. Like you, you mentioned in the last in the last episode that those armadillos, um, they do require, as Diddy, two hits, one to stop the momentum, and then the second one to actually jump and wipe them out. 
I guess you've mentioned in the Japanese game that some of the orangutan barrel thrower guys would take two hits, which is... That's fun, right? That's what people want. Yeah, exactly. Like, imagine, like, this thing spat those out. Uh, would be... That'd be I some... imagine that's why they they decided against that. Like, we've, uh... We've thrown enough your way. Yeah, this boss um, is, uh... Yes. Pretty original, pretty unique. Um, very threatening. Yeah. Oh! Nice. There we go. Okay, we're good. That's that. That was a pretty explosive fight. Yeah. DK's gonna celebrate behind this barrel. <laughs> we don't even know what he's doing back there. And we don't wanna know. <laughs> don't wanna know. It's time for some right. for some chimp caverns. Let's get you a cleared level here. Let's uh let's see. Honestly, I would like to think of like all of the levels that I've been a part of as uh, parts of a whole. So I'm actually yeah, that's true. I'm at further than like eight. So I'm like at yeah. maybe like nine and a half. So I'm feeling pretty good. I would good. say more than that. Okay. Well, that's very generous of you. Sometimes, you know, you just die at the end and it's like nothing you can do about that. That's right. I feel like that's just a lot of this game though. Like it'll have some like final obstacle that you'll like die at. And like when it comes to this game, as far as like, like the two player mode, like showing like how many levels you've cleared, definitely isn't very helpful for that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? This is the level I'm thinking of where you you fall there and there's a Oh, is it? There's a bonus. Was yeah. I supposed to do something that I didn't no, do? No, 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 no. Okay. No, don't have to. No, th this is it. I was I was in the wrong level. I think it would be really funny that oh, I feel like I need this. Can no, I you don't actually. Okay. I think it would be really funny though is like, you know, you're being like really casual and like Respectful of like, oh, like it's not a big deal, but like there would get to a point where like there's got to be somebody out there that takes this game so seriously that if you don't get everything in the way that they're supposed to, like I don't even want to record with you anymore. Like they just throw their headset down. <laughs> I've had uh, enough. It's a hundred percent or bust. One hundred and one percent. I, I, this is the kind of game where I, like, yeah, it's fun to do that, but if I'm playing with somebody who is also not as familiar with it, I'm just like, screw it, I don't care, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. Like, if we do, then we'll put in the research for it, and, oh. you know, at that point, it might not even be fun. That's true. I mean, what's you know, I don't want to have to look at game facts the entire time, like, oh, there's a secret in this wall. Uh, good old game facts. I remember back in the day getting on, uh, I say this like this isn't something I still do, getting on plenty of uh, internet fights with strangers, because that's, uh, <laughs> that's healthy. Oh, uh, I was first exposed to the fact that there was forums uh, around oh shoot, around the time when Smash Bros. Brawl was coming out because I wanted to know more about it and I can't remember. Somebody was like, "Yeah, you can if you go to GameFAQs, you can have people talking about it." I'm like, "What? <laughs> people talking? People on the internet? So, yeah, what? That can't be." Yeah. Or maybe, maybe like on their homepage, maybe it was like promoted like top forums and it was obviously Brawl because it was like. The new hotness. Oh, for sure. That was like what, like the early 2000s. Good times. Yeah. Man, I'm oof. <laughs> no, that was like mid 2000s. Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. mid 2000s. Yeah, I think Brawl came out in like 2006, 2007. I think it's 2008. That sounds right. That does sound. But right. You might be right. No, oh, I think come it's on. Right, we gotta do this. We, we gotta. We gotta do this. <laughs> we gotta. Not embarrass ourselves too much. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting through. This is this run right here. This is it's happening. It's happening. No pressure. Yeah, those were the uh, those are the good old days. It makes me think back to. Uh, it's very strange now that when you think about how how much of a wild west the internet was and how like unregulated and unpoliced it was. Like people could do and I mean they still do that. Like I'm not trying to they say still like, do people still do it. But I remember how like as a kid. There was no, I guess, like the level of like attention and like safety that I know now as an adult, like what do's and don'ts. Like as a kid, obviously, you know, you're you're a smooth brain little kid. That's what's going to happen. But it's just the idea of like there was like so much danger that I had no clue that was going to be like a potential issue. Like when you're a kid, like you just talk to like strangers on the internet and it's fine. And like nowadays people are like, don't, don't do that ever. And I was back then, I was like, this is totally fine. I don't know. I, I think, um, 
I don't think we give kids enough credit. I think kids are pretty smart. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Not to say not to say that like you know there aren't people that are trying to take advantage of that or anything. But oh, absolutely. For the most part. I mean, honestly, like the amount of technology that like some of the kids because I used to be a uh, in the summers as a summer job I used to be a camp counselor and some of the technology and the way that the kids there would already know how to use it and like these kids are like you know six to twelve years old like it was blowing my mind like when I was six years old this stuff wasn't even a thing and now kids are, nowadays are like give me an iPad and I will solve some calculus equations I'm like all right good for you that's amazing <laughs> that's incredible good for you yeah I have like a two-year-old nephew and he can just you know he can just pick up the ipad unlock it yeah <laughs> like he knows how to unlock it navigate uh -huh. use the apps like he's too like i mean it's crazy part like, of part of why that is so amazing is because like with children that age you know it's it's kind of i think it's like hard-coded into is this a secret no okay it's hard coded. It, would, it would just happen if it was it actually is a secret for everybody besides me. They're like, well, you're playing this game, so. <laughs> but with kids, uh, when you're two years old and you learn how to use iPads, et cetera, stuff like that, um, it's part of like destiny that you're supposed to make them as crusty as possible. So that's actually why that was invented. It's kind of amazing that uh, like, all right, well, we're gonna invent this technology. And if you could, as if possible, have some type of syrup or maybe like uh, honey, <laughs> some crushed up cereal on your face and hands. We had a uh, NES controller that I guess I had, like had a bunch of like jam all over my hands and like the controller just got all sticky and like couldn't even press like the start button anymore. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I remember so, as yeah, a kid. I guess that's just part of tech. Yeah, kids just like to make things messy. That's right. That's why they have like those giant jumbo iPad cases that are like it looks like you're trying to like get into like top security clearance for like the government. <laughs> like you can't break into it, even though it's shaped like a butterfly. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I remember we had a shared Super Nintendo, me and my siblings, and oh, that was great. Um, and you avoid the giant spiky wheels. Yeah, a part of the th <laughs> part of the yeah, you're right. Part of the reason why they <laughs> why Nintendo wound up redesigning some of their their consoles was because they were treated improperly. Like people would set stuff on them. They would. Uh, that's something I would expect. I would have done. Um, so they would they would set stuff on them. They would treat it improperly, you know, just all kinds of mistreatment, and they'd have to wind up repairing them, etc. And so that probably got expensive. So Nintendo would make it so that way you couldn't set stuff on your consoles as easily. But we had one of the OG Super Nintendos, and I thought it would be a good idea when I was a little kid. I was like, you know what would be that goes good with Super Nintendo? Kool Aid. So I remember setting down a nice fresh glass of Kool Aid on my Super Nintendo, which soon became inside my Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my Super Nintendo appreciated that very much. If it was sentient, it probably would have been like, ah, stop. That's what I imagine. It, it's kind of funny, actually, thinking about it. The NES definitely has a very table-like look to it, huh? Yeah. Like, hey, please place stuff on top of me. I mean, wasn't that intentional? I think that part of the... I remember reading about this was that Nintendo was trying to come across with their con their console as an aesthetic that made it look like a VCR because VCRs were super popular at the time and they wanted it to be a part of like the home theater, you know, like it wouldn't look out of place, okay, which makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. So then you'd wind up. Oh, this looks horrible. Um, you can actually die in here and you're fine. Really? I swear. I swear. Should I really? Yeah, do it. Do it. Oh, it's like a little bonus. Neat. Yeah, it's like technically a bonus area it is the ground here. OK, great. One of my friends is like really big on speed running this game. And so, like, he showed me that. I was like, oh, you, you can just die on the first wheel and get through this cave sooner. That's perfect. Yeah. Just seems dumb. But... I think it's this one. Hey -o. Oh, look at that. An extra life. Yeah. I mean, that's probably the first one I've actually contributed the entire run, so. <laughs> hey, you beat the last level. I did. Yeah. yeah. It's feeling good. And this one. And look at it. Back to back. All right. Catching up, only 15 more to go, even though there aren't that many left. Oh, there's uh, three, I think. Maybe. We're getting there. This level's just copy-paste from uh, the first mine level. I say it looks very similar. It's pretty much the same thing. It's like the uh, stop-and-go station. Yeah, Something that like. I think that is the last time this aesthetic was used, which is crazy because that was World Two. And this is World Six. I think I don't know if this is like a Mode Seven thing that that causes to do this, but like them using the uh, foreground to apply that 
that filter, that layer is really cool. I think that's a really nice use of the technology. I believe that's 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 layer three. Or Some sort of or parallax something. issue going on. I'm just making. I'm just coming up with like technology buzzwords. So ignore me. You're right. The only reason I know about it is because I've emulated these games like a ton of times. <gasps> You'd have to. Oh, I know. But like early emulators would would have like. Uh, oh, I think something down here. Early emulators like wouldn't be able to make it like transparent, so it would just like take over the screen. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like so you'd have to like disable the layer. I remember that being like an option with like uh, Z SNES. That was kind of a big yeah. deal where you play. Oh, the Express was in this one. Nice. That seems kind also, of. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but all of the Kong letters were in that bonus. That is interesting. I'm assuming that's probably the only time that happens. <laughs> probably. Hopefully. I mean, maybe not. Hopefully, that would make it a lot easier for us. We'd actually have a lot more lives. But that would involve finding I think a, secret. a secret there. It does make me think that's kind of funny that you mentioned, you know, layering in games and how emulation is, you know, an imperfect practice. I um I brought this up multiple times when I was playing Link's Awakening, the DX version on my original channel. And the layering would cause issues where anything that was supposed to be lit up by a torch or like lighting one of like the uh the torches that are in there, you could already see it because that layer wasn't blackened out so you didn't really have to light up anything it was already just perfectly well lit kind of erased that uh little element of difficulty i guess well do we want to keep going here uh let's try we about two stages left at, and then the final and two bosses i think we'll call it i think this has been pretty good we're almost at the uh at the half hour mark we're a little shy of that but we made some pretty good pro well i didn't embarrass myself entirely today so that's very good this went really well i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I think like the input lag that I was having issues with last time might have been connectivity related because it was a lot more on point today. So I'm feeling pretty good. But uh, yeah, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. I've been D-Mike with my friend. Oh, Odin. Sorry. I didn't realize I was supposed to say my name. <laughs> He's like, wait, are we friends? Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been, uh, been D-Mike and Odin Spack coming at you with Super Nintendo Sundays. Hope you guys had a good time. Check out Stack Gaming Marathon. There will be a link in the description. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.